All right, number five was two times radical square root of 24. So, ladies and gentlemen, what the first thing I had you guys do was write out the square number of each one of these, right? Yeah. And you guys are like, oh my god, this is like easy. Right? Just doing that. I told you just to write those out. So the reason why I was going to tell you to write those out because these are what we call our square numbers. Um, because, you know, the square root of 9, we can rewrite as just 3, right? Because 3 times 3 gives you 9, 4 times 4 gives you 16, and so on. So when I'm trying to simplify this, what I want to do is I want to take out any square numbers I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. I want to rewrite this if there's a way I can rewrite this in a simpler manner. So let's think about this. What I want you to do is I want you to say what is the largest square number that I can divide into 24? Four. four, right? So what I'm saying is I could rewrite this as 2 times the square root of 4 times 6. Is 4 times 6 equal 24? Mm -hmm. Is mathematically those exactly the same? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, now what's so helpful about this is now I know what the square root of 4 is, right? Mm -hmm. I know the answer to the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So even though we were, that was very easy, this is helpful because now you guys have 2 times 2 times the square root of 6. Mm -hmm. So the square root of 6 still has to remain under there. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 6. And there you go. That's all you have to do. And you said numero 12. 